move on to the next slide. Um, so for this project, LISC needed a smart partner. Um, and I say that because going into the grant, we had very little information on what to expect because this effort is unprecedented. It's never been done before. Um, so when we asked the state or experts questions about like, how many people can we realistically expect to enroll? Everyone was like, ah, educated guess. You know, we just didn't know. Um, or we'd ask questions of the state and others about, you know, how can we track the people who are interacting and how are we going to be able to measure our success? Are you going to give us a tool so we can do this? And again, the answers were very vague. So I'm sure you guys can understand, um, you know, that we were a little nervous about this. I mean, you get a grant for over a million dollars, it's a little scary to not have the tools you need to properly measure your work. Um, and so we knew we needed something, but resources, of course, are extremely limited. These are government dollars. Um, so the Smart Chicago Collaborative graciously offered to meet with us and offer some suggestions. Um, and so they recommended two tools, which uh, we'll talk a little bit more about in a second. Um, the first is called Twilio, and the second is called Wufu. Um, and Josh will say more about the technical side of both, but I just want to share how we use them and why they're so important to us. So I'll just say a quick word about Twilio while we're on the slide. Um, we use Twilio to text consumers who opted in. So if we did outreach and someone gave us a cell phone number and they said they were cool with us texting them, um, we texted them ahead of a couple of key deadlines. Um, we weren't able to text as many people as we would have liked because people weren't as willing to part with that information as we had hoped. Um, certainly our outreach workers, you know, perhaps could have done a better job explaining the benefit of that. Um, but hindsight's 2020. Um, and in the end, we were able to text around 300 people at different intervals. So I consider that uh, a success. Um, but 